everyone and welcome to my channel Root Tech Talks. In this tutorial of Groovy language, we are going to learn about methods and functions or methods or functions used or defined in Groovy language. How to define the method or how to define a function in Groovy language and how to use it. In Groovy, to define method, we can use def and we can use the method name. In case if you do not define any visibility modifier like public, private, static, it considers as public. So it considers this method as public. For now, we will use the static keyword here, static void, and I will create a method, say addition numbers and I will provide some numbers int a int b I will take a sum in int c for a and b and I will print that so how will I call this I will remove this and how will I call this in void main method so to call this as usual as we do in Java we will call this method and we will provide the parameters so that it will print the addition of these two numbers so if I click the run button it will give me output as 9 if I change the numbers and execute it will give me another output so this is the way of definition of method or function in Groovy language. You can use simply use def to define the method. If you do not use anything static, void, say public or private, then it will consider this method as public. If you mentioned here as public, then it will consider this as public. If you give private then private if you say static then it will consider it as static method and you can simply call the method with the method name and in case if there are any parameters you can pass the parameters for example if I say def print it and I say print ln welcome to groovy tutorials and I add here static void and if I call this over here in the static void main function it will print the statement this way you can use the methods or functions in Groovy. One tip about the strings in Groovy. As we have seen that we can use string with single quotes or maybe with double quotes in Groovy. We can use string both ways in Groovy. We can use single quotes or double quotes. One more thing to mention about string here in Groovy is we can use this string as using the variable name like I have this string and if I want to print this string I will say print ln and I will use dollar variable name so i will take dollar and s variable name is s so i have written here dollar s we have to give it in a double quote so i'll give it in a double quote dollar s and if we print this this string will be printed hello world is printed here so you can 
define this string and you can use the string like this dollar and this string variable name in the quotes this way you can use string variable in groovy so we have learned about definition of the methods or say functions in groovy we have also learned how to use them how to call the functions in groovy and learned about the string variables in the next tutorial of groovy language we are going to learn about the list and maps so stay tuned and keep learning Oh, 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 oh,